We often get asked what is the one thing someone can do to make a really big difference in the aquarium and without a doubt it is over oxygenating your tank. So that is putting three times the amount of air into the water. So that's the dissolved oxygen. And we do this by breaking the water surface. So when the air interacts with the water through turbulence or through bubbles bubbling up and breaking the surface, that's um, surface agitation. So it's really important. Your fish use it to breathe and the filters definitely use it for the bacteria. They need the oxygen to break down the waste. Two ways to do it. You can break the surface or you can put bubbles in the tank. The bubbles shooting up from the rocks we haven't used an air stone, so the bubbles are bigger and they cause more of a circulation value. And then we also have water getting pumped in from the top, so that's from the canister filter. Another way to do it in this situation, we've got the water bubbling up through a rock, it then really comes into lots of contact with the air and runs through our mechanical filtration. So this is where we're taking out the final bits of debris out of the water. So I guess now it's important to explain why we're over oxygenating water. Pretty much when anything goes wrong, the fish die from lack of oxygen. And this is in a lot of cases. So when the heater gets stuck in the on position, the water cannot hold as much oxygen and the fish starve of oxygen. When their gills get burnt by chlorine, their gills aren't able to take up as much oxygen and therefore they struggle. If the, it's ammonia poisoning, if it's a bacteria cloud outbreak, they use it, it, the bacteria uses all the oxygen in the water and the fish die from asphyxiation. So pretty much most of the things that can go wrong environmentally, apart from poisoning, I guess, is oxygen relative so if we over oxygenate the water on a massive scale when the heater gets stuck in the on position it gives you an extra 12 hours to notice when algae bloom or bacteria bloom uses up all the oxygen the fish are still surviving you might not be there but because the water's over oxygenated when there's a power cut the water will stay more oxygenated for a longer period of time you know it all just makes sense yet it is so important over oxygenate your tank and buy a good bloody air pump man you want that thing to be as quiet as possible and that means you need to spend the money the good is sometimes a little bit more expensive thanks for watching and enjoy creating natural looking aquariums that are easy to maintain